Welcome to Brilliance training video. Brilliance is the new name for the application previously known as SuperVista. Today's topic is an introduction to user interface. All SuperVista applications, including Brilliance, are regularly updated to meet the user needs. Therefore, some screen capture images in our training materials may not exactly match the current version of the software. We update training materials and manuals periodically. However, it is inevitable that manuals and training materials lag behind. We appreciate your understanding. Brilliance follows modern Windows user interface conventions. So, if you are familiar with Windows applications, you will have no difficulty working with Brilliance. By design, the application's layout is similar to CPRS. This reduces learning curve for CPRS users. In Brilliance, each major feature opens in its own window. You can have as many features open simultaneously as you wish, for example, keyword search, letter writer. By design, Brilliance has many user interface similarities with CPRS. The top panel buttons open forms that provide more clinical information. The tabbed interface in the middle portion is similar to CPRS, though, each tab page provides somewhat different information. The bottom panel buttons open tools like Letter Writer and RX Writer. CPRS does not have a similar panel. This screen capture shows application's modern user interface. The image shows the application's main window. When you load a patient's clinical data in Brilliance, this is the window you see. This presentation explores details of the user interface. In this image, the main window's top panel is highlighted. Each button on this panel supports specialized functionality so that the user can quickly find desired clinical data. There are separate training resources for each of these features. In its middle part, the application's main window has tabs along the bottom. These tabs are similar to CPRS. The caption of each tab is self-explanatory. Most of these tabs offer innovative ways to view and filter data. The bottom panel has buttons for the most commonly used tools. Additional tools can be accessed from the Clinical Tools menu. There are separate training videos for each of these tools. The login process works exactly like CPRS. The PIV card login is supported. This works exactly like CPRS. If the PIV login fails, the user is prompted to enter access code and verify code. Again, this is exactly the same behavior as CPRS. Just like CPRS, Brilliance logs out after a period of user inactivity. Unlike CPRS, it does not shut down. If logged out, the user can easily log back in, as shown on the next slide. The user may log off intentionally, or, be logged out due to timeout. This slide shows options to log back in. Click on the file menu. There are menu options to log in, or log out, as shown in the image. When the user is logged out, all the clinical data is cleared. A brightly colored panel in the center of the main form, informs the user about the login status. The user can click on this panel to open the login form, as shown on the next slide. This image shows the login form. In the upper part is the legal notice that you should be aware of. A click on the large login button will prompt the user for the PIB PIN number. It may take a few seconds before the security window displays. The security window asks for your PIV PIN number. Here is an important tip from Grandma. If, before the security window show up, the user clicks on another window, then security window may be hidden behind that window. The user continues to click on the login button but nothing happens. This is because the security window is already open, but hidden. Learn to use the Alt plus tab. Key to bring hidden windows to the front. The bottom panel has a few buttons with self explanatory captions. The run in demo mode button will not work unless the application has been set up to do so at your organization. 
For Brilliance, the recommended workflow is that the user changes patient in CPRS and let Brilliance synchronize with CPRS. The synchronization happens automatically. This way, both applications will always have the same patient. However, there may be times that you want to directly select a patient in Brilliance. The new button on the left upper corner of the main form opens the same patient selection window as CPRS. Below the new button, you will notice the recent button. What does this button do? While Brilliance is running, it keeps track of the patients recently loaded in CPRS. The recent button shows the list of the patients the user has recently loaded in CPRS, whether or not they were loaded in Brilliance. This image shows two buttons you should be aware of. In Brilliance, the Control plus F12 key is the hot key to load a patient. Pressing this key combination will load or reload the patient that was last loaded in a Vista clinical application such as CPRS or Brilliance. If you want to reload the same patient, it works like refresh patient in CPRS. The Control plus F12 hotkey works while you are working in other applications. So, you can click on the Control plus F12 button or press the key combination. They both do the same thing. If you are lost, the Home button returns you to Home tab, that is, the first tab on the Brilliance's main window. If you are lost, and do not see the button with the Home icon, you are on a secondary form. Close that form and you will return to the main window. Once a patient's clinical data is loaded in Brilliance, the results of the automated data analysis are shown on the Home tab of the main window. The clinical items listed in the grid require clinicians review because they do not meet the standard of care according to the rules set by your facility. A single click on an item in the grid displays historical data about that item, or it displays the reason why this item is being identified for the review. In this image, the user clicked on creatinine. The application shows historical data about that lab test. The user can get a lot more information about the given clinical issues by clicking on the user interface elements pointed by the arrows. In most cases, a double click on an item opens a view. A view is a summary of clinical data relevant to the selected clinical finding. This image shows how the clinician can get many elements of clinical data just with a click. This facilitates data review as the clinician is looking at results of the automated data analysis. Selecting an item in the drop-down box displays data for that section in a secondary form. The user reviews the data and closes the secondary form. Doing so returns the user back to the main window. The VA documentation guidelines discourage the indiscriminate copy and paste into progress notes. However, there are times when copying brief, pertinent data from other parts of the medical record enhances the clinical documentation. The purpose of copying such data in progress notes is to provide the rationale for the clinical decisions. For example, copying the relevant parts of imaging, lab and pathology reports to support consultation, or further evaluation, is appropriate. While working in Brilliance, from just about anywhere, the user can directly paste text in CPRS. Using mouse or keyboard, select the text you want to copy. Then. Right-click somewhere over the selected text. A menu opens. On the menu, click on the appropriate choice as shown on the next slide. Please note that, to paste text in CPRS, you must be editing a note or an addendum in CPRS. This image shows that the user has selected text in Brilliance and has right-clicked on the selected text. The menu, pointed to by the arrow, displays the available choices. The menu choices paste in CPRS and paste in CPRS with comment do the same thing except the latter adds an appropriate comment before the clinical data. To paste in CPRS, the user must be editing a note or an addendum in CPRS. As you may know, in CPRS, the data displayed in the grids cannot be copied. For example, the user cannot copy worksheet on the labs tab or medications from the grid on the meds tab. In Brilliance, the user can copy all, or only the selected rows, from most of the grids. In Brilliance, you can select grid rows by dragging the mouse, or 
with shift click, or with control click. These methods for grid row selection are standard Windows behaviors. The image on this slide shows that the user has selected certain rows with control click. The user right clicks on a selected row which opens the menu shown in the image. The user clicks desired option on the menu to paste grids data to CPRS. As always, the best way to learn a new skill is to play with it. You cannot do any harm to the patient's medical record, or to Brillion's, by exploring various features. So, please feel free to click around, open forms, and check out various features. Thank you for taking time to review this presentation. We have many informative presentations on YouTube. Please search YouTube for Brillion's Training, or, Supervista Medical DSS. If you have any questions, please contact us at, help.supervista, at gmail.com.